What's up, Nuggets? I uh, thought I'd make a quick update on uh, Jenny Craig because I had my um, consultation today. Uh, tomorrow is the seventh day. So really, by the end of today, I've done a week. And uh, I wanted to give you an update, tell you a few details about it, just in case you're thinking about it. Um, all right, so let's see, what did I lose? I lost 7.6 pounds in the first week. And it was kind of weird, right? The first couple of days, I lost a lot, which is every day. In fact, by day three, I'd lost seven pounds. And then, then I lost half a pound and then half a pound the next day, and then I gained a nearly a pound, and then I lost half a pound. So I'm rounding those numbers up a bit. So it was weird. I actually had a day where I went up, and then the next day when I went down, uh, I didn't go down to what I was before. Now, there are fluctuations in weight, right? But something weird happened. Last night at about 10 or 11 o'clock, I hadn't eaten for four hours by that point, maybe three hours, I think I had a, the last snack at eight o'clock, three hours, yeah, three hours, uh, I thought I'd weigh myself, just for the hell of it, I was like, eh, you know what, fuck it, I'll weigh myself, now I weigh myself the same as I normally do, naked, right, so, <laughs> and I was 280 pounds, so what I thought was, okay, but that'd be great then, by tomorrow morning, I will be back under that little glitch I had, and it'll make me feel good, I weighed myself this morning, and I was 280.4, I don't, how's that possible? How can you gain 0.4 of a pound without, with literally without eating anything or drinking? I weighed myself like at 7.30 this morning. So over the course of maybe eight or nine hours without ingesting anything other than air, um, I gained 0.4 of a pound. Very odd. I asked my counselor about it. She's like, yeah, there'll be fluctuations. But I expected that when your food is going in and out. But between a period of eating when you're not eating and you're not going to the bathroom and you're not drinking water and the scales haven't been moved and the scales are, are um what's it called balanced um calibrated um yeah it's weird i don't know if anyone knows what that is i'd be really interested to know what that is maybe the body breaks something down that weighs heavier is that how could it add mass like i don't know i don't know anyway um so I lost seven and a half pounds, just over seven and a half pounds, nearly eight pounds this week. Um, the food was really good. The food was really good throughout. There's only a couple of things that weren't very good, um, but they have such a variety. They've got like, I've got two weeks of full menus like this, right? This is actually my sheet. Focus. Oh, it won't focus for some reason. Why won't it focus? Anyway, this is uh, two weeks of my sheet, right? I've got two weeks of, of menus like that without any repeats. So I can, they have a lot of food. They have a lot of options. And I'm on what's called the rapid loss. It's not that rapid, but it's called the rapid loss diet where you literally follow their layout, their rules to the letter, right? You can't switch meals. You can't like have your dinner at lunch. I did that on one day and then I spoke to him and said, no, you can't do that because it's, it's apparently all designed in a very specific way to match the natural metabolism rate, which goes up very quickly and it's high and then after lunch it starts to drift down. So if you have more calories, if you switch lunch and dinner, you're actually getting more calories at night. You don't want to do that. It's not that much of a difference to be honest with you. But um, either way, uh, they have a lot of menus. They have a lot of items on the menu. The food's actually surprisingly good. Like if you've ever had those lean cuisines or those hungry mans or any of that, I think these are better than that, right? And I mean, that's not a high bar, admittedly, but they're better than a TV dinner, um, particularly when you consider they are uh, low calorie food, right? Uh, I have a couple of concerns, which is that I've been looking, I've been paying attention to the ingredients list. I'm worried about how many ingredients there are. A lot of chemicals. And I have had a bit of a stomach ache. Not bad, just a little bit of a stomach ache for about four days now. And it's not debilitating. I can just, I'm very aware of my stomach and it just feels a little uncomfortable. A little, a little almost acidic, maybe. Um, and they said, my counselor said, just stick with it, keep going. That will change. I don't know whether she meant that or, not, or whether she just wanted to get, they only have 10 minutes. So I think she wanted me off the phone. Um, 
So yeah, a little bit of a stomach issue. It's expensive. It's a very expensive diet. Like my, oh, I didn't bring in my, um, where is it? Okay, uh, I didn't bring in my uh, bill, but um, it's expensive. It's between, it's gonna cost me around about $750 to $800 a month in food, which is a lot. That's more expensive than my carnivore diet which is kind of astonishing. It is an all-inclusive though, effectively everything you get. No, it's not, no, it's not. I was gonna say you shop, but you pick up your stuff from Jenny Craig and then you're done, but you're not because you have to add vegetables. So you still have to go to the market. We just went to the market actually, I don't know why I said that, and spent about $120. So it was an extra $400 to add a week if I were on my own. I would say that you're comfortably spending eight to $900 a week on Jenny Craig which is expensive, man. Now, in my case, that's cheaper than the healthcare that it's gonna cost me if I don't fix this fat issue, but still, it's expensive, right? And you should know that. Um, it does work, though, and the food is pretty damn good considering. Considering it's microwave, and like, I, I'm, I love cooking, I'm pretty anti-microwave, I don't really use it for anything up until this. Um, I enjoy cooking, I can taste the microwave, and I would say that Considering that this food is microwaved, it is particularly good. And secondly, I'm kind of starting to dig the idea that my dinner, my lunch or my meal takes three and a half minutes, you know, like three to five minutes. And you literally just pull it out, prick the top, stick it in the microwave, come back in five minutes and eat it. Like the ease of that is actually, I think, helping the diet, how simple it is. Because when I first started, I was thinking like, well, I wish they would actually say, you gotta heat this in the oven, because I can taste the difference. But that would make the diet more difficult. You'd have to time things out properly. Like, oh, this takes 30 minutes, 40 minutes to heat. I want to eat at two o'clock. It's difficult. With this diet, your alarm goes off and you say, oh, I've got to eat my lunch right now. And you're eating it within three to five minutes. So that's really good. Um, they do have some things I didn't like, but it was fairly straightforward. When I called her today, I went through the menu and I said, oh, I don't like coffee. So can we take that coffee thing off of there? And I... What else did I say? I can't remember. Like we didn't like, I didn't like the chicken burrito. The chicken burrito had a weird taste, but everything else is pretty good. It's a lot of similar stuff. And I'm eating stuff that I would never normally eat. I don't eat vegetables ever. I mean, I will occasionally have a Caesar salad, so I'll eat lettuce, but really I'm just eating the Caesar dressing. That's what I'm there for. And the cheese and the croutons and the salad is just a vehicle to carry those things. Um, but on this diet, you, you have to because almost like, you know, let me read you out some of these, right? Homestyle meatloaf and vegetables, three cheese macaroni with broccoli and carrots, and so on and so forth. I won't read anymore. But there's always vegetables, or very often vegetables with the meal, and it's just not enough if you don't eat the vegetables. So you end up eating them, and they're kind of tasteless, which is good for me. Like, I hate broccoli. I really can't stand broccoli. I can eat this broccoli because it just tastes like warm water. <laughs> It isn't a glowing reference, but if you don't like vegetables, it's good. The mac and cheese, though, was absolutely delicious. I had a turkey burger the other day, and you're supposed to make a vegetable with it, so I've been stir-frying, like, mushrooms, green beans, peppers, onions, stuff like that, just doing a stir-fry with a tiny bit of oil, measuring the oil, because I'm allowed oil. I'm allowed two little bits of oil. And then so you make your own stuff. That's the stuff I buy at the market. And then a microwave turkey burger, right? And it's a bun, it comes in, you, you take the bun apart, you put the patty in for like three minutes, I think it was, and then you take it out, you put the patty in the bun and you put that in for another 45 seconds or whatever, whatever the numbers are. Um, and it was good. I mean, it was good, it was, a, it was a microwave burger, but it was a pretty good burger. Like, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm hungry that I'm really enjoying the food more, but like, I wasn't looking forward to this morning. I had a, we were lined up to have a garden vegetable frittata which just sounds like a load of bollocks to me, right? There's, there's no way I would ever eat that, but it was delicious. It was delicious. I was hungry when I wanted it as well. And I'm feeling, I don't know what the health benefits are, but I feel good about getting hungry before I need to eat. Like it's something I, I it's almost taken me back to my childhood. I remember before I moved to America, and that was my adulthood as well, but before I moved to America, I would eat when I was hungry. Like it seems such a simple thing to say, but that stopped in the US. I became an opportunity eater. I ate when there was food there. And this is the US, there's always food there. 
So, you know, you part, every commercial on television is food. Every high street has six or seven fast food outlets and 10 grocery stores. And it's just food absolutely everywhere. So I lost that, oh, God, I should eat, I'm hungry, and just, oh, there's food, I should eat. Well, I'm getting back the hunger, the feeling of, you know, I have a limited amount of food. I'm going to wait until I'm hungry, and I'm going to enjoy it more. And those things work, and they make me much more mindful. Um... Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to give you an update. I, I am still concerned about the long-term viability of this diet for two reasons. One is the, it's expensive, man. I, don't, I can't afford 800 a month. That's a lot of money. There's two of us. There's two of us. Wait. 172. Um, two of us is probably because my wife's on less calories, but two of us is probably going to come in at about $1,300 a month, which is a lot for food. That is a lot. <laughs> Um, so I don't know if we can sustain that, right? Um, the second thing is the, it's not healthy food. It's healthy in that I'm losing weight, but, you know, it's a lot of e-numbers. I remember reading somewhere that one very simple way to tell if your food is healthy or not is how many ingredients it has. You know, obviously it's not 100% true, but the less ingredients it has, the better, right? It usually means it's got eggs. Then the ingredients say eggs. Okay, it's just eggs, you know, that's it. All of this food has like 30, 40 ingredients, you know, or a, at least a lot of ingredients. And there is, it's got a lot of sugars, alcohols, it's got sh a lot of uh, artificial sweeteners and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm worried about the long term viability of it. But I'm hoping what will happen is that I am going to then go away and make some of these. Right, and look at this and understand the portion size because that's what it's about. It's about portion control and realize, okay, I can make the dinner, I can make food for Laura and I um, and control the cost, the quality of it and uh, the healthfulness of it. Healthful, oh my God, I used the word healthful. The problem with that is there is an advantage here, which is that because you go buy the food, if you cheat, I didn't cheat, but if it entered my mind because I'm a food addict, if you cheat, and eat something that you shouldn't eat, you are just depriving yourself in the future because you just don't have that food, right? If I were to eat my turkey burger that I was allowed on Thursday night, if I'd have ate that on Wednesday night because I was extra hungry, Thursday night I wouldn't have had any food to eat. And that gauges your, like your, your um, it, that prevents you from overeating. Now, if I'm cooking it myself, I can just add more. I can just go make more. I'm worried about that. And I think maybe... Meal prep is a possible solution to that, right? Because then prep it on Sunday and then I just, just have to remind myself, you're not cooking this week. All you're doing is reheating whatever is in those meal prep con containers. Um, so maybe I could do that. Or maybe we can go on to some kind of partial solution where we do some Jenny Craig, but I cook the dinner. I noticed they have a program where you buy just breakfast and lunch and then you make your own dinner, I assume. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I would say thumbs up, though. If you're wondering about it, Jenny Craig's not just for chicks, man. Um, I really liked it. I, the, I could, the counseling that they give you once a week is okay, I guess. Just, you know, I, I don't know. They were nice people. It was nice to speak to someone who understands what I'm going through. But I don't, I don't need counseling. Really, what that phone call is to say, please take this off the menu. What can you give me instead? And they'll know. They're like, no, you can't have that. That's too many calories. Uh, how about, you know, a New York bagel? Yes, great. Put that in. And then you tell them a time to go pick it up. You drive down there and they come out and they give you all your bags of food. Like, this is all your frozen stuff. This is your dried stuff. And that's it. That's your weekly food there. Plus the vegetables, the produce you have to buy. Um, the ease of that is really good. So if you've got a weight issue, I would recommend it. And also, I'd like to know if other people have had stomach ache issues because my wife, Laura's got them as well. So it, it's, I don't think it's just us. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. All right, you little nuggets. That's it. 280.4. Been a full week on it and then hopefully six weeks on this. All right, nuggets. Later.